Today in Nashville's Happy Hour, presented by Beach Whiskey, we've got Greg Clemens in for Stuart Melia. Greg, we're glad you're here. Thank you, thank you for having me. He's a bartender from Americano Freestyle Tapas on Weston Avenue. Did I say that correctly? You did. Absolutely. I'm out, man. <laughs> All right, Greg, what are we making today, brother? Uh, well, when I think of uh, the, the warm winter we've had, I, I think of something refreshing. And so when I think of refreshing, I think tequila. Yes, uh, sir. Specifically wow. Reposado tequila, because that uh, extra couple months aging really gives a dynamic flavor. Um, so what we're going to do today is what I call the uh, Playa de Jalisco. Now, you said something earlier. People are scared of tequila. Is that accurate to say? Most people that, that I talk to at least say that they had bad experience in college with tequila, so they can't do it anymore. Well, raise my hand here. <laughs> Hello. But if you drink good tequila, you can have a good okay. experience. Right. College tequila and real life tequila are totally <laughs> different, different tequila. Things. They're like in different universes. <laughs> right. And the Resposado is nice and smooth. So you're adding some fun fruit, fruit flavors. What do we do? Yeah. So I love making drinks that are a little spicy because uh, it gives an extra little balance to the the sweetness that's inherent to tequila. Okay. So, uh, Kick it off. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to do a little bit of ice here. Uh, do you know how to make a cloud? No, I do okay. not actually. He does today, um, though. We just saw it. Right. He's going to do that now at the tapas place. But so now we're going to do about an ounce and a half of tequila to two ounces, whatever you prefer. Sure. Lordy. Sure. More is more. <laughs> and then this is a Salerno, which is a blood orange liqueur made out of Italy, but it's uh, extremely delicious. Oh, Gonna nice. give it an extra That's little cool flavor bottle, there. Greg. Is that easy to find? Can we find Absolutely. that? Absolutely. You find it at any liquor store in town. Okay. Blood orange. Got um, it. Now I do a little bit of simple syrup. I don't do that much because I don't want it to be a sweet drink. I just want to kind of balance out the heat of the jalapeno yeah. a little bit. Um, and the tartness from the orange juice, which is another ounce there. Gonna add another depth of flavor there. Nice. Um, and then, and finally, Nina McCormick approves of tequila. She says it's it's a better liqueur for you. So it is. We'll now go we'll with that. Cut so up a little. What are we chopping up here? These are jalapenos. Oh, fresh Lord. jalapenos. Oh, right in there. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I need this glass here. We'll shake it up for you. Nice. We're gonna have this recipe on our website. Absolutely. Oh, you told me the name of this. The Fly Playa de Jalisco. So the, what is it? Playa is Spanish for beach. Yes. Um, and I imagine drinking this on a warm beach in Jalisco is where uh, more than 80% of the world's uh, blue agave is cultivated. Oh. Yeah. See, you'd be fun at parties, Greg. We're doing Saturday night. <laughs> Listen, Kilo Greg is definitely fun at parties. Saturday you night, in town. I, will, I will certainly be working on Saturday night. All right. So I, I made enough for, for one. But yeah. split it in two for the well, both of you. Share, and so, we share, yeah. we share, And what we want to do is put a little bit of a garnish on there. I'm making it pretty. I'm making, making it, it pretty change for people's everyone. minds on tequila. <laughs> you should, because it's a delicious, delicious It's spirit. delicious. Just make sure it's 100% agave. And Absolutely. this facade was even better. Cheers. Thank you so yeah, much. Let's give Thank it a taste all. here. I don't even, it, I taste Yum. a little bit of it, but not a lot. Yum. Yeah, and you can muddle it if you want to put some more spice into it. I'm good at muddling. <laughs> I'm really good at muddling. 